Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody is having a great weekend and a great Saturday. Well, today is week three of European Town. And I'm working down here. I did put in a picture. It's better than the picture that is actually on the... Uh, you know, for the kit because it's so tiny but it is quite big so what's everybody up to is everybody having a good weekend I hear that on the east coast they're having lots and lots of snow we got about an inch and th but that was yes Yesterday, no, not yesterday, day before yesterday, and it just was enough to, or like during the, the night, enough to cover the ground by, eh, at maybe, maybe an inch, so, yeah. It's melted off the streets, and it's melted, like, on the stairs and stuff like that. But I still have some in my backyard because the sun does not reach there real well. So. What is going on today? happening in that corner. This is kind of an odd symbol, if you will. It's a plus sign, and it just throws me off badly. So we'll just make the best of it and just keep moving. I wanted to fill in some of this greenery down here. I haven't worked on this this week. It's just been kind of an odd week. What can I say? But we're working on it now, right? That's, that's all that matters. I've been trying to finish up that uh, chrysanthemum. I'm getting close. It's about time for it to have the uh, I forgot what I was going to say about time for it to have the um, back stitching is where I was going I got my thimble on my finger's not nearly as sore as it was the other day. Holy cow. That was pretty bad. But as you can see, we haven't gotten too much done here. I'll have to get on the stick and start stitching more of this once I for finish those uh, chrysanthemums because I want to prove to myself that I can finish it in two weeks so or a week and a half or whatever it is for me that that time is pretty short so I've been stitching on it every day the chrysanthemum that is to try to finish it up then we can just go on to something else maybe I'll put some time and energy into this and get part of this uh, house done I'd like to start on it
This is 772, I think. If I'm not mistaken. Ah, when you get there. Creates, it creates that thing. Just kind of fill in some of the gaps. Yesterday, I had to run to the grocery store for a couple things and stopped off at that truck stop that I told you about hmm, a week ago or so and picked up uh, small pizzas for my daughter and my granddaughter and I. My grandson had gone with the other grandma over to her house, spent some time with her. And that's always good. Sometimes they just need to get outside and run around. And it was kind of, it was nicer yesterday than it has been, like, practically all week. It was about 40 degrees and the sun was shining, so it was a good time to get out. But my daughter didn't feel like going out, so we didn't go too far at all. And I finished up my uh, diamond painting that I was trying to get done. So I got that one done. So I got to finish. Woohoo! It's diamond painting. What can I say? It's not cross stitch. But I'm I'm closing in on the the chrysanthemums. It just seems like there's not a lot when you look at that picture. There's not a lot of stitching, but my goodness. It's just dragging on forever. And I'm not real sure why. I was going to look today for my, uh, my booklet from... Oh, what do you call it? For uh, for this one. European Town. And I don't know. It must be sitting like in a basket. Like up and down. And I'm not seeing it. So. I don't know. It's got to be here somewhere. I might have taken it out to show it you know, or something, and then set it down in between something, then I picked up all that stuff out of those containers. No, they're not containers, they're little baskets, but they don't have a lid on them. Yeah, I got rid of 95% of those. I didn't lose them or anything, they're in the other room. I can use them for something else at a different time. never know when they're going to come in handy. They're nice for sorting out stuff, and which still needs to be done in those totes. But we'll get to it sooner or later. At least they're in totes. They're not getting dirty, and, you know, there's not fur or dirt sifting around on them because those other things, they just sit on the floor. And I really was not real happy with that. Mostly everything is in a bag, though. I don't know. It's just the principle of the thing. So that's why I got these cover totes. They're like storage containers. And they keep everything nice and dry. Especially in the wintertime when we're coming in from there being snow on the ground. And 
you know, the dog flicks off water here and there. So they're all safe now. I just didn't like them all just sitting there. You know, in the way. So, didn't accomplish much yesterday. Hey, really? Get down. Get down. I thought we'd finish ditching with this this green color since I already had the thread already separated and ready to go. I, I think I got it separated for when I did the live last week. And uh, I couldn't see what I was stitching, so I'll have to pick a different color for today's live. I'm just having the worst time with this this symbol and seeing what the heck and where the edges of the the canvas are, you know, to make my X. It's just being weird. So I wanted to cover it up and know that I had it done. I don't know why they use that. Ooh, more specialty floss. Dog fur. Just kidding. It was dog fur. Know that they're covered up and they're done and I don't have to think about it. I had another color sitting out here. I had to go back through and kind of match it up to where it goes and put it away. I don't know why it was still out or why I stopped using that color. No idea. Not a clue. So no more plans for the weekend. There's a football game on tomorrow. There's two actually, but I'm only going to watch one. And the bummer of that is, even after they play tomorrow, I will still won't be able to see the Super Bowl because it's on ESPN and I have Roku. So I don't have ESPN. I don't think. I thought ESPN was part of my uh, Disney package. I know that really didn't seem to match, does it? I watched the remake of Mulan the other night. Nothing else better to watch. Just kind of bored. I got tired of watching Rain. Get sick of watching it's not the middle ages but you know what I mean death and destruction gotta watch something else and I really wasn't into watching Grey's Anatomy for the fifth time or sixth or eighth or whatever it is so I was a little bored and couldn't find what I wanted so I just turned that on and watch that so have you watched anything good that was worthy of watching lately I just wonder Just kind of a boring time of year. <sighs> I 
Come on, Thread. It's a pretty color green. Kind of a pale grass green? I don't know. Hard to explain. Yellow green? Maybe that's what I'm looking for, yellow green. But this does have good shading on it, so... I do have to get rid of this thread though. I'm about to lose it out of the the needle. Get rid of it and get a new one. So see it's starting to fill in the bottom. I didn't want to start down there. It's just too much of the same thing. I gotta be changing my threads here every once in a while. I really got to watch it up here. They're like running right along this little edge like there. There is, a, there's two more symbols. I don't know why they shoved all this line stuff all together. It's quite irritating. I bet these are people that don't even stitch. It's just a job for them. I don't know. Quite irritating. Oh, come on. I'm telling you. Glad when I'm done with this symbol. You can go on to something else and leave that for last. I'm telling you. So when I start getting frustrated, I'm done. So, we'll just kind of avoid some places like the plague. And just move right along. Did you like my, is it ASMR, or a uh, little video? I was trying to do a short, and then I had to go and look up how to do a short. Well, it was like totally freaking complicated as usual, but it sounded like something you had to do on your, uh, on your phone. I don't know. It was too complicated for me, so I just put it up anyway. But some people like that clicking noise of the, the diamonds. The squares do it much better. But it was just an experiment. How's that? So. And I was surprised I could go a whole minute and whatever it was without Molly barking. A big old crow out there somewhere. He's just a con at something. Maybe he's a cat's messing with him. I have no idea, but he is making a horrible noise. 
don't have many crows around here. They like to get in the trees over by the water. Because there's like a little stream that runs along the side of this road. But it's like down in a ditch ditch. You know, like 25 feet down is the water. But there's some great big aspens and whatever else we have here. I mean, is there anything else? But great big tree, oh, cottonwoods, I couldn't think what they were called, along there. And they like to roost up there because they're very big, big trees. But they usually stay over there, so I have yet to see one here. That might be one of those magpies, I don't know. They kind of hang around all winter long. And I can't get up right this second to go look and see what kind of a bird it is. Because my drapes are shut. So Molly doesn't bark the whole time I'm stitching. You know what I mean. What are you doing over there? And she's not even paying attention to that bird. People that get in and out of the car, oh my gosh, she's just got to go nuts. Animals? Not so much. Not unless she's out there, but she really didn't bark at the birds that I've noticed. It's usually a cat or a kid or, you know, something going up and down the, the little thoroughfare there. Because the kids walk from the corner after they get off the bus. So I'm like two, maybe three three trailers in from the corner so they have to walk past me because there's nobody up that away so I don't know and there's not too many kids around here a couple I mean not on my street you know there's probably 20 trailers on my street but I never see the other kids see what I mean they don't come down here and they're not always playing outside so it's pretty quiet. There's mostly adults. And everybody has kind of a yard. So the kids must be playing in their own yard. Because they're not riding bikes or anything. Some of them I think are kind of small. For that even. You know. So not much going on here. In fact the first three or four years I worked or lived here. You know, you barely saw a kid, and I never have anybody come for uh, Halloween. So, so I don't have to buy any candy. And the kids, they go to another part of town. So, there's some, they've built houses in the past 25, 30 years. So, it's kind of like a, a section more than a subdivision you know like you'd have in a city there's maybe four or five blocks and those houses were built back when my kids were in high school or before just a little bit you know so they've been there since maybe the 70s if you will but those were the newer houses and then they built some, I don't know what direction that is, westish, down by the mountain and the rodeo grounds. Now that's a whole little subdivision, if you will. But nothing on a scale of, like when I lived in Chicago, subdivision. You know, it's just an area. Then they have a place up in the mountains. I'd say it's about hmm, maybe ten minutes from town, but it's up against the the foothills of these big fourteen foot mountains and their custom houses. I haven't been up there in years. Most people around here, once you get out of town 
or like up by the mountains. They buy like sections of land, like two or three acres or whatever, you know, and build a custom house up there. But I like being closer to town. I don't want to have to fight the snow every time I decide I'm going to go to town to get a thing of milk. But not like I could afford a, a custom house, but. Oh, for pity's sake. Why are we doing that? I know. Threader, threader, threader. If I put it around my neck, I forget it's there. Then it stabs me. Can't put my scissors on, around my neck. Stab, same, same difference. So I just set it aside. It's safer for me. We're coming up there, ain't we? Oh, goodness gracious. Yeah, I really want to start that house. I've started a little bit of it, but I'd like to work on it until it actually looks like a house. So, we'll see how far I get on the chrysanthemums today. I'm kind of dragging my feet now because, yeah, that back stitching. Hmm. I think it'll be fine. I think I can just wing it and make it look good. But, you know, until it actually gets done, I'm not real sure. Went to bed early last night. I laid down about 11.30 and I was out cold by 12. I just, I guess I was tired. I don't know. Then I didn't get up till about mm, 7.15. So I guess I just needed the rest. There's some of those stars. I doubt that you can see them. Right. <laughs> there, there's three of them. And they've got them mixed in over here with this other thing. So I'm just going to kind of work around it and then I'll go do the stars. Like that'll be my next color. That way I can see where they're at. Because once I get this color in, you can't tell what that uh, symbol is. So it's just kind of iffy. Not that it'd matter, it's probably just another shade of green, you know? So, if you get it wrong, it's no big, big penalty here. I'm just doing the best I can with what I got to work with. But I really would like to start on that house and just work through it because it's pretty cut and dry. I mean, I can see the symbols really well. I'm just fighting through this so I don't have to put the thread away. And that's stupid. That's okay. We're good. We got this.
So yeah, I think I'll just stay home today. Not go anywhere. Oh, I might go get the mail, but that's about as exciting as that whole day is going to get. Oh, man, that ice that was on my car yesterday when I had to go to my daughter's and go into town. Holy cow, it was like quarter inch thick in places. Because it was just cool enough to snow, but it was like slush. So it froze on my windshield. I'm glad I put my little wipers up or I would have ruined them. And as it was, I went to go... I had to get the door open right after I got everything all scraped off. And when I opened up the door, that rubber, we'll call it a seal, on the door came, like, undone. So it was just hanging there. So I was trying to get it to go back, and it was cold. Oh, no. That didn't work. I put up with it. Sorry, I have, I have a piece of Pop-Tart. Um, I know. I still eat Pop-Tart. 64 years old and we're still eating Bob Tart. Um, went to the grocery store, fought it the whole nine yards. Finally got to my daughter's house. We ate lunch and I had her come out there. She was not real happy with me, but she got it fixed, though. I couldn't figure out where to shove it back into, and by then, at least, there was some, um, what do you call it? heat you know it had been sitting in the sun so it had warmed up a bit so that helped that crow is just having a field day out there I don't think you can hear it but man He's being loud and noisy. I don't know what his problem is. Maybe I'll give this another couple hours today after I put my video up. Just doesn't seem like it's making much progress very fast. But I would like to get the chrysanthemum done today, if I can. I mean, I'll get the stitching done, and then I can work on the, what do you call it? The back stitching. I have the worst word. Time with words today. We'll see. We did accomplish something here. Pull that up. Find it a home over here. Ah, would you get there? Oh, it's starting to fill in. A little bit by little bit. Alright guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Please hit the bell, and that way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you next time. God bless. Bye-bye. Keep stitching.